Testing, testing. That sounds on. Testing, testing.
Welcome to worship on this Palm and Passion Sunday, the first day of Holy Week. I want to say, give a special welcome to Crosby and to the Munch family. Uh, today is Crosby's first communion, so we celebrate with him. Uh, he did actually a lot of work to get to this day. He helped make the bread along with Mason um, that you will eat today. Um, if you are gluten-free, know that there, are, there are, is a gluten-free option up here. Just let me know when you get here. Um, and Crosby also helped set up communion this morning. So we're excited for you to join the communion of saints in eating with us today. A couple other announcements for you. Um, my mic isn't on, is it? It is on. Can you hear me okay? Okay. Uh, for Holy Week services on Monday, Thursday, this Thursday, we'll worship at 6 o'clock. We'll have some food right before that at 5.30. We'll, that'll be right here. Then on Good Friday, we'll be across the street at 1 o'clock. Then on Saturday, we'll have our Easter Vigil Festival from 6 o'clock till 8 o'clock, and the youth will go on their service project at the end of that. Um, and then finally, I want to tell you this now so that I don't have to tell you on Easter. Um, I'm going to be gone for two weeks after Easter. So for pastoral emergencies, you'll call Pastor Dennis Morum. Um, many of you know him, but he's a longtime pastor and will take good care of you. Um, also, what we, I know we have a couple of really good preachers coming those two weeks after Easter. Most of you already know this, but I'll be in Holland uh, a long way away. So if you give me a call, you know, I might be asleep. Um, other announcements this morning. Yeah, Debbie. Baby socks, yeah, Mary. I just want to thank everybody who's been saving their, excuse me, their, off, their tabs off their cans because I took up like a grocery bag full up to the um, Gillette's, up to Ronald McDonald House this last week. So keep saving them because somebody once did think they were collecting them, but they still are. Hmm. So there's a basket back here for them. Awesome. Keep on drinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking whatever you like. <laughs> uh, yeah, Pat. Yes, please remember to bring your Easter lilies and plants in by Saturday morning from 9 to 11 a.m. Wonderful. Oh. Good morning. We are going to have our monthly service at Interfaith at 3 o'clock today for their Easter um, and we are also going to be delivering to them Easter gift bags. And if you are available, if you want to be in the front entrance at Interfaith at about quarter to three, and you can join us for service, or you could start going through the nursing home and giving out the gift bags. So everybody is welcome to come, and they're always so excited to see us. So if you have time in your schedule today, that would be great. Let us rise and worship God together. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who journeys with us these 40 days and sustains us with the gift of grace. Amen. Let us pray. God of love, today we give you the honor. We give you the glory. We give you all the praise. For your glory is not like our glory, your honor not like our honor, and your praise is not like our praise. We give it all to you, and we worship you today in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Holy God, we confess to you our faults and failings. 
Too often we neglect and do not trust your holy word. We take for ourselves instead of giving to others. We spoil rather than steward your creation. We cause hurt though you call us to heal. We choose fear over compassion. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us as we seek to follow in your way of life. Amen. People of God, hear the good news. God so loved the world that God gave God's only Son so that all may receive life. This promise is for you. God embraces you with divine mercy, forgives you in Christ's name, and revives you in the Spirit's power. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be and abide with you all. Please be seated. Good morning. Our first reading is from Isaiah, chapter 50, verses 4 through 9a. The servant of the Lord expresses absolute confidence in his final vindication, despite the fact that he has been struck and spit upon. This char characteristic of the servant played an important role in the early church's understanding of the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with the word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen to those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been disgraced. Therefore I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them comfort me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm is Psalm 31, verses 9 through 6. We will read them responsively by whole verse. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with sorrow, and also my throat and my belly. For my life is wasted away, and my years with sorrow. My strength fails me because of affliction, and my bones are consumed. I am the scorn of all my enemies, a disgrace to my neighbors, a dismay to my acquaintances. When they see me in the street, they avoid me. Like the dead, I am forgotten, out of mind. I am as useless as a broken pot. For I have heard the whispering of the crowd. Fear is all around. They put their heads together against me. They plot to take my life. But as for me, I have trusted in you. Said, you are my, God. my times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. <laughs> Be seated for the reading of the Passion. Thank you. 
Sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? After Jesus had finished telling his disciples about the final judgment, he said to them, You know that after two days the Passover is coming, and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. Then the chief priests and the elders of the people gathered in the palace of the high priest, who was called Cephas, and they conspired to arrest Jesus by stealth and kill him. But they said, The anointing at Bethany. Now while Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. But when the disciples saw it, they were angry and said, But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? She has to perform a good service for me, for you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. By pouring the ointment on my body, she has prepared me for a rule. Truly, I tell you, wherever this good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in the remembrance of her. Judas agrees to betray Jesus. Then one of the twelve, who is called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me if I betray him to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that moment he began to look for an opportunity to betray him. The Passover with the disciples. On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, he took his place with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they became greatly distressed and began to say to him, one after another, Surely not I, Lord. Surely not I, Lord. Surely not I, Lord. He answered, The one who has dipped his hands into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him, but woe to that one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that one not to have been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, He replied, You have said so. The Institution of the Lord's Supper. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is in my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will never again drink of this fruit of the vine until that day. When I drink, it new and with the you in my Father's kingdom. Were you there when he blessed the bread and wine? Were you there when he blessed the bread and wine? Oh, 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 oh some. 
When they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Peter's denial foretold. Then Jesus said to them, You will all become uh, deserters because of me this night, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go ahead to you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Jesus said to him, Truly, I tell you, this is the very night before the cock crows. You will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. 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 Deny you. <laughs> Jesus prays the Gethsemane. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me as though I were a bandit? Day after day, I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. But all this has taken place so that the scriptures of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled. Jesus before the high priest. Those who had arrested Okay, that's right. Um, yeah, I thought we What's were... the next? Uh, weren't we supposed to sing? The the next. Later on the top, she would say, he took with him Peter and two sons of Zebedee. I don't believe we have that. <laughs> uh <-oh. laughs> Someone told me, you know, they're not stapled together this year. Yeah. We could get them out of order. Yeah. Here we are. Um, this is where it took off because he's going up to this. Oh, yeah. And he takes I get, Peter I get, with yeah. him. So I guess the pages weren't stuck together. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so, so I do not have now. that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're on the right page. Okay, because they're going into the Gethsemane now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are we here? Yes. Okay. Okay, we're, we got it now. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Okay. <clears throat> Try this again. Okay. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and he began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed. My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping, and he said to Peter, So you could not awake with me one hour. Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of the trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And again he went away for the second time, and prayed. My father, if this is cannot the pass unless I drink it, will you be done? Again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? 
See, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. The Betrayal and Arrest of Jesus While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. With him was a large crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, the one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him. At once he came up to Jesus and said, Jesus, and kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you here are here to do. Then they came and laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. Suddenly, one of those with Jesus put his hand on his sword, drew it, and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place, for all who took this, take this sword will perish of by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father, and he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how when and when the scriptures be fulfilled? Let's say it must happen in this way. At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me, as though I was a bandit? Day after day, I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. But all this has taken place so that the scriptures of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled. Were you there when they fled and left our Lord? Were you there when they fled and left our Lord? Jesus before the high priest. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest, in whose house the scribes and the elders had gathered. But Peter was following him at a distance, as far as the courtyard of the high priest. And going inside, he sat with the guards in order to see how this would end. Now the chief priests and the whole council were looking for false testimony against Jesus so that they might put him to death. But they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. At last, two came forward and said, This fellow said, I am ready to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. The high priest stood up and said, But Jesus was silent. Then the high priest said to him, I put you under oath before the living God. Tell us if you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You have said so, but I tell you, from now on you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, They answered, He deserves death. Then they spat in his face and struck him, and some slapped him, saying, Oh, 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 
Peter's Denial of Jesus. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A servant girl came to him and said, You also were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it before all of them, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. When he went out to the porch, another servant girl saw him, and she said to the bystanders, Again, he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. After a while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Sir, you are also one of them, for your accident betrays you. Then he began to curse, and he swore an oath. I do not know the man. At that moment, the cock crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. Jesus before Pilate. When morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people conferred together against Jesus in order to bring about his death. They bound him led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. The Suicide of Judas When Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, he repented and brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders. He said, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. But they said, Throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, he departed, and he went and hanged himself. But the chief priests, taking the pieces of silver, said, It is not lawful to put them into the treasury, since they are blood After conferring together, they used them to buy the potter's field as a place to bury foreigners. For this reason, that field has been called the field of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. And they took the 30 pieces of silver, the price of the one on whom a price had been set, on whom some of the people of Israel had set a price. And they gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord commanded me. Pilate questions Jesus. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Jesus said, You say so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, But he gave him no answer, not even to a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Were you there when they cried, Our Lord should die? Were you there when they cried, Our Lord should die? Barabbas or Jesus. <clears throat> now at the festival, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone whom they wanted. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Jesus Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, For he realized that it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. 
while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus killed. The governor again said to them, And they said, Pilate said to them, All of them said, Let him be crucified. Then he asked, But they shouted all the more. Let him be crucified. Pilate hands Jesus over to be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he could do nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took some water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, Then the people as a whole answered, So he released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. The soldiers mock Jesus. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole cohort around them. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. The Crucifixion of Jesus As they went out, they came upon a man from Cyrene named Simon. They compelled this man to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they offered wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Over his head, they put the charge against him, which read, Then two bandits were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. 
Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, In the same way, the chief priests also, along with the scribes and elders, were mocking him, saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. He is the king of The bandits who were crucified with him also taunted him in the same way. The death of Jesus. From noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lemon second in my. That is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, <laughs> At once, one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, Then Jesus cried with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After his resurrection, they came out of the tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many. Now when the centurion and those with him who were keeping watch over Jesus saw the earthquake and what took place, they were terrified and said, Many women were also there, looking on from a distance. They had followed Jesus from Galilee and had provided for him. Among them were Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. The Burial of Jesus When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea, named Joseph, who was also the disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own noon tomb, which he had hewn in a rock. He then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there, sitting opposite the tomb. The guard at the tomb. The next day, that is, after the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, After three days, I will rise again. Pilate said to them, So they went with the guard and made the tomb securing by sealing the stone. to try. 
This is the week when we celebrate who we know God truly is. When we find out who God truly is. We find God's love not in glory and in happiness and in brilliance, but rather in pain and in death on the cross. So on this day when we begin Holy Week, we read 
the Nicene Creed, which is a special creed written after the Apostles' Creed, which tells us even more about the love of God. Please rise with me, and together we'll confess our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnated of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We believe in one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world. Let us pray. God of love, save your people here and everywhere. Enable us as the church to boldly confess in every time and place that Jesus Christ is Lord. With the humility of a servant, equip this congregation and the church across the world to proclaim your extravagant love found in the cross for all people. Merciful God, receive our prayer. God of love, renew and save your creation. Every living being that you have made has purpose. Give us renewed application for all of our lands and animals, and all the ways that we are served by your creation. We pray also for people who are reeling from destruction in your world. We pray especially for victims and families of tornadoes in Mississippi, in Arkansas, and in Tennessee this day. Merciful God, receive our prayer. God of love, Save all your people on the earth. We pray today for an end to violence in schools. We pray especially for children in Tennessee this week. Give courage and wisdom to leaders seeking to respond. Merciful God, receive our prayer. God of love, save those who cry to you in any need. We pray today for those who are sick, for those who are grieving, and for all those in need of care. We pray especially for Janae and for all those that we name before you now. We trust, O oh God, that you hear our prayers, whether we have spoken them aloud or whether they remain on our hearts. 
Merciful God, receive our prayer. God of love, save us at the last. We give you thanks for the saints of old who embodied your servant love as you came to their aid. So deliver us in times of trial that every knee would bend in praise to you. Merciful God, receive our prayer. We lift our prayers up to you, O God, trusting in your steadfast love and your promise to renew your whole creation through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. As we pass the peace today, remember that you can pass the peace with a handshake, a hug, or however you feel comfortable. May the peace of Christ be with you all. Please share with one another a sign of that peace. Peace be with you. Please rise as you are able. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
We commune today uh, by coming forward, receiving a piece of bread and then a cup on either side. The bread in the middle is a special bre bread made by our First Communion retreat. Um, if you need a gluten-free piece of bread, just let me know and I have some right behind me. Uh, the purple is wine and the white is grape juice. Know also that you are welcome here to commune with us no matter what, for this table is not our table. This table is the Lord's table, and all that God asks of us is to have a heart that desires to know God. So know that you are welcome here, no matter what. On the night in which our Lord Jesus was betrayed, he took bread. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this and eat it. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, Jesus took a cup. He gave thanks for it and gave it to them, saying, Take this and drink it. This is the cup of the new covenant in my blood, which is for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, remember me. Let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Come. For all are welcome and all is now ready. Throughout the earth, 
We are body one body in this one. The body Please rise as you are able. And let us pray. Embodied God, at your table we have tasted the goodness of Jesus. With the eyes of our hearts open to your promise, empower us to hear the needs of our neighbors and touch the world with your love. Amen. Receive now this blessing. The Lord bless you and 
Go in peace, serve in love. Thanks be to God.